afternoon guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm just out at the shelter, got a little fire in the go. But uh, what I want to show is, I got myself a new frying pan. Uh, I did get the Van Gogh one, but that was for a uh, backpacking, lightweight one. So I treated myself to a new stainless steel one. And I'm guessing you've guessed by the title that it's a... Uh, I bought the Pathfinder with the lid. And I'm going to season it so it'll make it a uh, non-stick. So yeah, I did get this idea from MD Outdoors. I'll put a link to his channel uh, down below. Go and check his video out. But I was watching uh, his video and he had the frying pan the similar to it. I can't remember what one it was. But then I was watching Dave Canterbury and he had this one. So, it's got the Pathfinder logo on it and it's got the handle with the locking system like that. But what I liked is the lid. I like my USGI one, really do. So, I like the lid. I like the lid in the USGI one, but this one you can't lock it. That doesn't bother me. So, there's the lid. It's good. It is a little on the heavy side. It's 550 grams, I think. Round about that. And 400 for the frying pan. But yeah, it is a good frying pan. Look, good pan. Or skillet, whatever you want to call it. I like that it's got this little bit in the bottom. See it? It's raised. So, yeah, it's, it is definitely good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to season it to try and make it non-stick. I've done this to my long-handled pan and my USGI one. So, I'm going to do it to this one as well. So, here we go, guys. So, I'm going to put the pan on and heat it up. So I'll put the pan on, let it heat up. So the pan's been on for a couple of minutes. That's it definitely heated. Better get my gloves. Right, so the pan's heated, and uh, let's put the oil on now. So, don't put too much on. I've probably put too much on there, to be honest. So, what you want to do is put it around about, and then wipe the excess off. There we go, so wipe it around the pan, like so. Can we see that? Yeah, yeah we can. So wipe it around, like that. That should do it. And then put it back on the pan. And then you'll, hear, you'll see it smoking. You'll probably have to do this like 10 times, so when you take it off, when it starts smoking, leave it to cool down and then redo it again. So it'll probably take you a while to do it. It really won't be a quick thing. If you do it quick, it'll just not work. So, I'll bring you back when I've done it like 10 times and then I'll let you see what it looks like seasoned.
So there we go guys, the pan is seasoned nicely. I'm pretty happy with that. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one. If you could give me a thumbs up. Thanks guys.